points. 24 points, nine assists, five rebounds, but 11 of those 24 came in the fourth quarter for the NBA's regular season leader in clutch scoring. We huddled up and we're like, yo, we have to win this game, especially everybody thought he, he'd be ejected. So when that happens, you know, usually um, that team kind of comes together and goes on a run, but uh, we were able to negate that. And I think we finished the game uh, extremely well in those last few minutes. Ed Aaron, Brendan Nunez, Kings Herald, uh, second straight really good game from Malik. Can you just speak to the importance of having secondary playmaking out there and how it makes the game easier for everybody but yourself specifically? Yeah, I mean, he's been he's been doing that all season. Um, obviously, we want him to do it uh, throughout the season more consistently. But, you know, when you have, you know, some some rest in between games, uh, obviously, and also playing the same team twice and um, you get to be able to adjust to, you know, coverages that they throw at you. I think he responded extremely well. Um, I mean, him and Davion, obviously this last game it was him and Trey. Uh, this game it was him and Davion stepped up big time for us. De'Aaron, um, Tony Harvey, yes, <clears throat> Tony Harvey, NBC Sports Radio. Uh, the last game, the Warriors had 31 assists. That evaporated down to 18. What are you guys doing, you know, to – what do you guys do tonight, you know, to uh, limit them, you know, in those passes and finding those open lanes? Uh, I think a big part of it was was Draymond. I mean, he had 11 assists in the first game. Um, we go back, we make adjustments. Um, and if he's in a double-digit assist type of game, then they're having a good game. They have a flow going to it. So we just wanted to be able to disrupt it. Um, I think they said we had 24 deflections. Many steals. 11 steals. Uh, 20 turnovers, you know, we're um, I think we were just being extremely disruptive trying to be physical without fouling um, And I mean, I feel like Obviously some guys had a good game, but I feel like we kind of disrupted the flow of their game Back here Fox uh, Sean Cunningham Fox 40 obviously it's an ugly moment with Draymond uh, I know you guys are really tight with him and obviously with Sabonis Does that change anything in your mind seeing an ugly moment like that and especially the way maybe he riled up the crowd after I mean, you know um, going against him and some guys in this league that it's going to get physical. Obviously, that shouldn't happen. But um, at the end of the day, we're protecting our teammate. Uh, and, I mean, that is what it is at the end of the day. Mark Haynes, Sacramento Observer. De'Aaron, this is your second great playoff game, second game, playoff game of your career. Is it safe to say that you're built for this? <laughs> um. I'll let I'll let uh, the fans do that. Um, but even so, like offensively, I think I had a decent game, ten for twenty-three. Even though some people shoot forty-three percent for the season, I'm like I tell Malik, I'm like, yo, I can't shoot fifty percent every game. But uh, for me, I think the big thing was, you know, the three steals. I think I had one block, but I thought I had two blocks. Uh, but the three steals in the in the block, I think was was bigger for us than. Uh, me just putting the ball in the basket and then nine assists. I think I had two two turnovers and I think as a team we had two turnovers in the second half alone. So um, uh, that, that was huge for us. Uh, De'Aaron, Joe Davidson, Sacramento B. Can you talk a little bit more about uh, Davion Mitchell and just his effort and his energy? And do you do you ever go against him in practice? And how's that go? Yeah, yeah, he was big time for us tonight. Um, obviously, we all know what he can do defensively. Um, he hounded Steph most of the game. And then, obviously, what he added to us today offensively was was huge. Uh, the big the big three in the corner, um, honestly, I would say was like the nail in the coffin. Uh, and yeah, I go against Day every day in practice. That's why y'all see what I do out here because I'm not going against Davion out here. So um, he's made me a better player since he's been here. Obviously, he has the nickname Off Night, um, but I don't think people realize like how he moves laterally and then how strong he actually is. So. Yeah, going up against that anytime we scrimmage or do or do stuff uh, has made me a much better player. Hey, De'Aaron, Matt George, ABC 10. Uh, I don't know how you feel about milestones necessarily, but this is the first time in the Steph Clay Draymond era that the Warriors have gone down 0-2 in a playoff series. Does that mean anything to you or to the team? Um, I would say for us, we knew that we needed to be better at home. Uh, and in these first two games, we protected home court. And I think... That's that's about all we're we're taking from it. We we protected home court. Um, now we want to have to we have to go in their building where they're one of the best teams at home in the league and try to win a game. Aaron Jason Anderson from the Sacramento Bee. To follow up on that, how 
How much better does it feel to, to you know, to, to go up 2-0 at home as you, you go to San Francisco? How much more confidence does that give you than, you know, maybe being in a 1-1 situation? Uh, it feels good. It definitely feels good just being able to protect home court. I mean, that's what you play, you know, the entire season for is to try to get home court advantage as much as you can throughout the playoffs. So for us to be able to protect that, um, I think it's definitely huge for us. And, I mean, it builds confidence day, day after day, game after game. You know, you're, when you're winning a, a game in a playoff series, it makes you, it, it builds up your confidence. Obviously, you don't want to um, overreact or go into a game overconfident. But, I mean, you put yourself in that position. So you, you have the right to be confident. But we know that, um, you know, we go and watch film. We, we go back to the drawing board. We see what we need to adjust on, and we play the next game. Um, another game where the shots didn't really fall as much. Um, how do you guys keep that offensive pressure consistently throughout um, when you don't see that ball go in? I mean, the ball keeps moving. Uh, we got great looks. Um, I think we just missed, and uh, I think guys will, shots will start falling. Um, but we continue to play the same way. We Just because shots aren't going in, we don't stray away from anything. Um, and I think we got, a, we got to the basket a lot. We touched the paint a lot. We were able to get kickouts. And when they did go down, they were big for us. So uh, you just stay the course. Just because you're missing shots, you don't change what you're doing out there. Just want to get your perspective on uh, Herter, how he's uh, defending uh, Clay. Clay did, you know, get a couple big shots down the stretch and stuff. But just want to get your, you know, commentary on uh, Herter's work on uh, Clay. Yeah, Clay's going to make shots regardless of what's going on. I mean, uh, a lot of times, especially in this league with, with guys and how talented they are, unless you're blocking the shot, then it's hard. You know, you just want to you, you, you try to contest as heavily as possible and hope they miss at times. Uh, but Kev was big for us. Um, just, just being able to put pressure on him, be physical. Um, Clay is strong. He's, he, he pushes you to get, to get you into screens. And I think Kev uh, was big time for that. And, and I think he either blocked one or two of, of Clay's jumpers. So... Um, he was he was big on that end for us. Dear and Jason Anderson again from the B. Um, there's a report here that, that Domas is undergoing X-rays on his ribs and his lungs after what happened there with Draymond. Do you want to speak to just the beating that, that he takes consistently and and any go any further as to what happened tonight? Yeah, I mean he he's down there. Uh, I mean led the league in rebounding. Uh, he scores a lot of points in the restricted area. And he gets hit. He gets hit all game. He gets grabbed. He gets tackled. Um, obviously, at times he says something, but most of the time he doesn't complain. He gets up. He gets back on defense. And, um, and we, I mean, we've talked about this before. Uh, that ignites a team. You know, if if your best player is down there getting beat up, and at times he doesn't say anything, he gets back. Then everybody else knows that if if something happens to them, if you may get fouled, then you need to get back on defense. So um, it's it, it's big for us. Obviously, we. We hope our brother is, is okay. We hope he's not injured. Um, you know, even just outside of basketball, being if you fracture a rib or punctured lung, like that's that's a serious injury. So we we just uh, we just hope for the best right now.